Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to Imperator Rome Sparta. It's 5.03. But I feel like I, that, that, that number has significance in some regard. I don't know. And I'm going through the missions because we've now conquered Mastodon very nicely. Uh, we just need to... Oh, what else do we need? Oh, I need... All, oh, my God. I actually need so much more. I need Crete. Oh, my God. What does I get is popularity, though? So if I do finish it... Oh, wow. Discipline and integration speed for the rest of the game. That's actually insanely good. Fair enough. You, 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 you got me. The so Western Capitals. Megalopolis needs four more pops. And does Elis and Mezene. Oh, my God. And I've got to build, like, 800 buildings everywhere. Okay. So, Megalopolis needs more pops. There's scorn families. No one cares. Megalopolis, Mesene, and Elis. Okay. Megalopolis, Mesene, Elis. Megalopolis. We'll move a lot from Sparta first. Okay, next, that was Megalopolis, Mesene, and Elis. Wait, how many do I need, for God's sake? 30. Oh, wow. Mesene is freaking massive. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. There you go. And then just Ellis. Get oh god, I need so many more. Why is Ellis so tiny? Why does no one love you, Ellis? So sorry, but let's go from Patre. Do 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 do. Clicking pretty much randomly, because I don't actually know where these people come from or what they represent. What what does this number mean? I don't think I need the citizen in Corinth. Oh no, I lack the small handful of change to do this. No, my olives. My olives. Can't have them. Done. Okay. Western side of the Peloponnese has long since been the home of barbarians, rural city-states, and the Helots. Despite their pathetic nature, Jesus, they managed to form powerful and worthwhile cities to some fame. So, pop capacity, city building starts 10% output and 2% local civ speed. Beautiful. And if I, and then I, all over here, I've got to build 8 billion buildings. Jesus Christ. But then, the territories of all of them receive major league capital, pop capacity, and massive pop output. Baby. You alright? Shit. All I need to do is build up my navy as well. So basically, I just kind of need to focus on building it back up my economy for a little while. Not too big a deal. Just get my stuff all together. I don't think I need all of these forts. But this fort does protect the northeastern region. Do I own this? No, it's not my color. Luckily, I am obscenely strong. Like, just... Ooh, a bastard. Uh-oh. Servants of... Oh, dear. Acknowledge the child's providence or deny all allegations. Hooray, more family members. The spread of ISIS. Set aside some room for these priests. There is no need for the Egyptian... Yeah, right. Let's get some... Get some ISIS up in here. Basically, I just need to build a shit ton of cities. Uh, Mycenae, Megalopolis, Sparta's fine. Mycenae, Megalopolis, and Argos. So next can be Mycenae. Nice. Argos. Jesus, actually, it's mainly manpower here, so hell yeah. Some of that. Just going to basically spat them out. Get them everywhere. Corinth needs another one. We need some economy there. That. Always worthwhile to try and focus on increasing tax income. Nice. Yeah, other than that, we're pretty good. We've got a nice big army. Um, our army's actually a bit trapped moment, but that's okay. Our manpower now maximum is 76,000. Now that is okay with me. Ooh, that's a spicy meatball. 
I mean, touching Thrace might not be the worst thing in the world. A march of time, and I've got gout. Okay. Is that I could take all this re this big region over here? But it's the Spartan time now, ladies and gentlemen. Demodius the Explorer. The raging weather and violence sees a patchwork of exotic craftsmanship has pulled into the port of Corinth. Aboard, a crew hailing from far-flung lands gaze upon our modest heart with poorly disguised wonder. A lone sailor emerges and speaks in perfect Lacedaemonian, espousing his gratitude and dock without trouble suspicion. He gives his name as Deimedus of Miletus, an explorer of some experience, who is sinful with by leash to discover the world at large. He retails us with tales of Scythia and Bactria. How the hell did Scythia and Bactria sail over here? Mysterious lands farther east, begs to leave to restock his small fleet of galley slaves in return for a bauble, which is revered as holy. A most welcome offer. He gains orator. And I get an ancient fertility for... Oh, yeah, sure. No place for strangers. Or perhaps his journey might come to an end here. Yeah, a most... Why is he Macedonian? I've gained an ancient fertility figurine. Okay. Now, how do I see that? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, is that what this is? I don't, I don't know. I think it is... Uh, it is local citizen output. Yeah, I think so. All right, cool. Thanks. I guess. I, I guess. Appreciate it. Bull. Anything that's actually useful. There are a couple things here that are good, but I would prefer to focus on building the buildings that I know I need. So another one in Argos, and another one in Corinth. Another one in Argos. And another. Actually, a little bit of research speed wouldn't go badly. There you are. Very good. Um, and now it's just Megalopolis and Ellis. Good old... I, I feel really stupid saying the words Megalopolis. I feel like I sound like a right twat. It just sounds like a, it's just such a stupid name. Megalopolis. I know it just means big city. It just sounds stupid. Alright. Touched by Hermes. A thanks is in order. Gaining... 8 trillion. Alright, let's take a look. Uh... Ooh actually pretty good. 10 tax. Or gain a big pile of money. I'm going to take the money. Wow. What an offer. Ow. Smash my knee into the desk like a moron. But I didn't cry. So moral victory, I would say. Definitely a moral victory. All right, Megalopolis, you also need to tax. I'm also going to crap out some research on the table. I think we're fine for loyalty. Slave. I think the slaves are. Slaves look pretty chill, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really need a little of this, but a little bit of commerce is good too. And it does look like Phrygia are at war again against Armenia and Colchis. When's my truce up is the question. Ooh, where's the truce? Uh, I will join your war, my friend, because then maybe I could take over Macedon. Because I, I still need Crete. I still need a lot of things. Oop. Oh, we have a Scorn family. I probably should have given that to the Scorn family. Whoops. What about this? I need this. They would call in 8,000 people. Holy shit, okay. Maybe we should do this one first. Uh, now, I'm real sorry, but I'm going to have to dissolve that alliance. I know. I'm sorry. It wasn't very nice of me, but... You can bite me. That's what you can do. 
What do I need? In good hands, commendable. But I really only need these eastern bits. Ooh, they'd call in Egypt. Oh no. I clearly left this way too late. Eased mines. Get a bit. No, bro. Bite me. Give me money. I want thousands of money. Thank you. I want just eight trillion money. All right, you can have this. For some reason, you're scorned, but whatevs. All right, what else needs the dankness? It's Ellis. Boop. Boop. Don't really have citizens, so boop. Family trade relations. How nice of them. Me and Phrygia are chill. The insanity. Oh, I've gone insane. Oh dear, gains a lunatic. An ordinary man of superlative business acumen acting unusually. His personal advisor reports the Basilius Eris started slathering at the mouth, uttering inane nonsenses, even proposing marriage each and every member is caught in the face for an hour. Some of the wisest men in the land, or, oh dear. I want to see what happens. Oh, it's, it's a rare opportunity. Ooh, Thrace is being destroyed. Uh-oh. Thrace is being annihilated. That's unfortunate. Do I still have any scorned families? You guys seem alright. These guys are a content family. I think we should maybe try and give it to this guy because that would actually make them uh, super, super happy with me and real chill and such. Ooh, should we have citizenship? No. I don't really want to lower anything. Really, with other error. Ooh, military reforms, martial education, manpower and starting experience. Discipline and monthly military experience, enslavement efficiency and design slave ratio, and mercs. Ah, oh, yeah, nobility. Let's go. All right, our soldiers are only drawn from the very best. Okay, Megalopolis is still building its thousands of buildings, as is Ellis, which means we can work on. Remember this. Ooh, war score cost. Wow, the cost has gone up. I'm now being called into another war. Uh, the Bithyrian Revolt, that's fine. Hmm. I can't declare war on these guys until the truce is up. Which is actually only one more year. Oh, are, they, are we allies together now? Ah, oh, we're allies in the same war. Yeah, we are. Lame. Oh, they wouldn't call in Macedon anymore. I wonder if I could get them Phrygia to fight Greece for uh, Egypt for me. Could I make them do that? And then abandon them later? I do love to abandon people. I could. I could get them to do that. Okay, that's a that's a solid plan. Because unfortunately, I need this and I need that. Oh god, I need that too. Oh shit, they own so much land that I need. That's massive as well. But it'd have to be this one. And it's just to take the Aegean Islands, really. That's uh, a sticky wicket. Maybe we could do that, get them absolutely wrecked from Egypt, and then just take whatever we want elsewhere. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, tech is becoming very expensive. Like, very expensive. Luckily, we are obscenely powerful and make 15 monies a month. But that's good. Rome is also getting very strong. We're getting about 5k manpower now a year, so we can afford to deal with some things. This building is almost done, finishing the mission tree off, possibly. Hopefully. And boop. 
Oh. Another explorer. Oh, it's the same guy. He's once again made his way to our border. He looks every bit the worn traveller, clad in fraying cloak and threadbare sandals. He had the twinkle in his eye, tells of a wealth of knowledge hidden behind his cranky face. Asking only a small sum this time. Okay, that's 140 money. That's more money than I have. For his continued travels, he offers a beautiful gilt candlestick to source from a mausoleum. A whale fat candles. That sounds pretty good. But I can't afford that, so... Yeah, you can have it. Go on. Just let me earn the money back. Pearls of Greece. The territories of Sparta, Corinthos, and they will permanently receive... Wow. Pop output. No longer the great cities of the Peloponnese system, the largest of their regional neighbours. They have become well-known centres in their own right. In far beyond our borders, like Alexandria in distant Egypt, or Babylon in ancient Mesopotamia, people in faraway lands now talk about our great cities. Tight. We also need 30 ships to be able to finish this tree off. Okay. So we need to basically earn a lot of money. We're going to have to kind of sit here for a bit. It's okay. Trade influx. Strike the earth. Oh, citizens. So we'll sit here for a while and just earn a big pile of cash. Ooh, I've died. A succession crisis. The gods are weeping. Oh, well. Oh dear. Um, emboldened by avarice, they've raised hordes of malcontents. Oh shit, in Argos? Okay, no, no, we're not actually at war. Oh, but it is a civil war. Shit. There is a risk of civil war. Ah. Uh, wow. It's because my stability is so low. How do I increase my stability? Okay, um, we have some scorned homies. But they do. They found me rise to they have positions. I'm sorry, my own family is scorned. What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. How about, how about this? There you go. Light of the Pretender. A once a favoured sibling of our most recently sinned rulers, perhaps wisely chosen to flee Sparta in a moment of opportunity. Piercy kneels as his very second before the vaunted court of Thrace in the hope of being granted asylum. Declare him an enemy of the state or troublesome. Oh my god. He'll be an enemy of the state. Why am I having a civil war? 34% of the power base in this country? Oh my god! Isn't they disloyal? Okay, I think we're going to need to start pumping money into people. What the hell's the families? Where the fuck are you? Characters. Right, what's wrong? He is a pretender. His loyalty is 31. His loyalty is 30. His loyalty is 55. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Because the Chryslids have massive power base. Okay. Why are you so pissed off? What's wrong? Interfere in his scheme? Or assist to his scheme? I'm, a, I'm his rival, that's why. He's basically about to die. Yeah. We'll give him free hands to make him a little bit more loyal. He, he's still pissed off. And I'm, there we go. Okay. Clembotrus Egiad. Clembotrus Egiad. That's the people who are pissed off. Okay. Ah, he's my bro. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, no. What is he? He's a general. Yeah, it's that massive army. Encourage deserters. There we go. Seize assets. He loses 300. 
because he's not present to protect them. Ah, that's a bit better. Ah, doesn't that weaken him? Doesn't that make it less likely he's going to rebel? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, I can increase my stability. Um, yes, sacrifice the old gods. Perfect. We we're sacrificing the old gods, which cost me political influence. And it's giving us extra monthly stab. So 0.45 now. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, look at all this reliquies. Beautiful. Not quite a lot I can really do about that right now, but... Does anyone want to not be mean? Maybe increase ruler popularity or something? Okay, it's really low now. Why does he have so much power? It's because he's got 10 loyal cohorts. Okay. But like, his power base is tiny, though. Surely. Yeah, I don't understand. His power base is essentially nothing. Other than that, it's... So now it's Anemax Adronus Leonated. This chap, who is very angry. Ah, we are rivals, and he's trying. Hmm. Why do I have a low chance of success? Oh, it's because of his massive power base. Okay. Ah, uh, he may seek to start a civil war if I do that. Well, I'm very wealthy. <sighs> Could bribe him. We bribed him. Still doesn't help. Fortunately. Oh! He kind of two brute thugs. He barely managed to escape. Who should arrive to commiserate but Animax Leonted, self avowed rival, flanked by two very thugs who commit this deed. It is his words. Seize him anyway, gain five tyranny. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. Easy. Arrange gladiatorial debut. Oh, cool. You can put them in a gladiatorial procession. Uh, so we could sell him into slavery. Or smear his rep. Or prescribe him. No. That would be, that would be nice if we could prescribe him. Log him. Why is his loyalty so high now? <laughs> because I bribed him. Oh, banish him. Ooh, select a banishment target. Byzantian. Perfect, we did it. We managed to avert a civil war. We managed to arrest him and then banish him. Very good stuff. All right, in the next episodes, we're going to be continuing going down uh, this tree, saving up a big pile of money until we can build a lot of ships. And then from there, we will then start to go peace at home and maybe even finish this mission. I think we'll be able to. Bye-bye.